Hi, I'm Tracy Desjardins. I'm a restaurateur and chef from San Francisco. Now I'm going to share with you one of my favorite preparations actually at home. I love to have a nice big juicy steak. One of my favorite sauces is salsa verde. And then my favorite way to cook potatoes is in duck fat. Okay, so we're going to start with a steak. Um, here I have these beautiful ribeyes. They're fairly well trimmed. So I'm going to give these a, a nice amount of salt. Fresh ground, kind of coarse pepper. Season on both sides. And then I'll let these sit for a little while. All right, I'm going to set these guys aside and start with my potatoes. German butter balls, Yukon gold potatoes. These are both really lovely potatoes. Um, they cook up, they're nice and creamy um, and thick. So you can peel these with a peeler. You can peel them with a paring knife. And I'm going to quarter these potatoes so I have a nice amount of surface area on them, which will get nice and crunchy and delicious in the duck fat. Now I'm going to start on the um, salsa verde. Now this is the Italian version of salsa verde. It's similar to a chimichurri sauce. It's not like a Mexican salsa verde, which usually has tomatoes and cilantro in it. Starting with the base of this is uh, anchovies, which are a wonderful complex salt. It doesn't read as being fishy at all. Capers we're going to drain. And I'm going to take my capers and my anchovies and mash those up well. OK, now that I have my anchovy and my capers into a nice mash here, I have a nice array of different herbs here. You can really vary this. My classic, though, has parsley, tarragon, chervil, and chives, and shallot. You can put garlic in this if you love garlic. I personally don't love it, so I'm not going to put any raw garlic in my salsa verde. So I'm going to dice these shallots. I don't want to crush up their fibers and make them bitter. Everything I will mix up in the mortar and pestle. This mixture should be about four parts parsley and then uh, the other herbs. As I said, you can mix it up if you, for example, like rosemary. You could put a little bit of rosemary in there, put a little bit of oregano. I've got my parsley here. Chop up my chervil, not too much. Do my chives, my tarragon, extra virgin olive oil, a good amount of it. This is a olive oil based sauce. If you want it to be a nice bright green, you have to make it kind of fresh, but it really is delicious after a few days too. A little more olive oil. And I'm going to season with salt and pepper. Add my red wine vinegar. And that's the salsa verde. I'm now going to cook my potatoes. I have my duck fat. And I'm going to get these guys going. So start them with a little bit of salt. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. You want it to be kind of a single layer. The potatoes actually take a little bit more time, so you want to start those a little ahead of the steak, uh, maybe 20 minutes time, and let them go a little bit in the oven, and then put your steaks in the pan. So I'm also going to use my duck fat. You can use regular oil. I've got smoking hot pan, and I'm going to put these steaks in there. I'm going to turn it down to about a medium-high heat now. It should take about four or five minutes on each side, depending on how done you want them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip these steaks. And I'm going to go ahead and put my um, butter and garlic and thyme into this pan and, and baste them a little bit. So I've got whole butter, which will get nice and brown in the pan. And I'm going to add my thyme, which is going to spark and make some noise here. So I'm basting with my brown butter and herbs, glazing them with that nice fresh thyme flavor. I turn the heat down just a little bit so that I'm not really burning my butter. It's nice brown, golden, but it's not scorching in there. These should be great. I'm going to take them out and put them onto a rack to rest. Turn off my pan here. Let these just sit while our potatoes are catching up. And I'm just going to let these sit in a warm spot. So we have our beautifully golden potatoes out of the oven, nice and brown. Now I'm going to take this garlic, put it in there, mix the potatoes up, let that just cook just a little. Adding the parsley to the pan. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of coarse sea salt for texture and just to adjust that seasoning onto my big beautiful platter here. This is again something I like to make at home, so I really think of this as like family style. Slice these steaks, and you can see nice, beautiful, medium rare inside. And I have my beautiful salsa verde here, which I'm going to drizzle over the top, or you can serve it on the side, a little bit on the platter, and I'm just going to give these steaks just a little tiny bit of fleur de sel on top. And here we have our beautiful ribeye steak with duck fat fried potatoes and salsa verde.